Hello and welcome to Be Open at Darlington. Uh, I've been having lots of fun in the trucks at Darlington and uh, found a race to do here tonight in Xfinity, which I'm hoping will be fun as well. It is a uh, single split race, unfortunately, but hopefully it'll still be some good fun and have some green flag racing. Did a uh, another truck race and see open just before this, just on my own. I had a good competitive race, lots of fun. Ended up fifth after a guy passed me on the last lap uh, with a slide job. It was a good one though. He did what he had to do and uh, earned the spot. He had been catching up to me for a while. So, still got a top five in that one, though. That was a good race. Mm. Way too loose here, though, in qualifying. That's not good. I'm hoping that the tires will be warmed up now, and this next lap will be better than the other one. Ugh, it's not getting the grip I need. It's not even close to my all-time best. 30 0. Oh. Right. Maybe the temperature is different than what it was in practice or something, but that sounds more like an excuse. I think I could have just hit my marks better. Just fighting some loose conditions. But I guess that's good for the race, so that way I can be on that right rear more. Hmm. I'm not doing too bad anyway in the, in the line up there. Still so just moved to third. <laughs> so did not get as much practice as I would have liked. Because I wanted to hop into this one and got about 10 minutes or so. And that's subtracting loading time to get into the practice session and all that good stuff. But uh, it's not the first time I've raced here, I don't think, in the Xfinity car. I've done it Darlington plenty of times, obviously. And I'm, I'm sure at some point I've done Xfinity here as well. But it um, might have the braking points a little bit off. Just because uh, I have not yet been able to watch like Nick or Gavin or anyone do a ra their race here. I might have listened to one, but not been able to watch it. You know, in my car, I, I'll usually put it on over the Bluetooth speaker and uh, <laughs> just listen, radio style. Which doesn't help me learn the braking points, but still entertaining to listen to. But I think I got a, a decent enough understanding. Hopefully it should be okay. Gonna try to be on the right rear. Try not to get destroyed. <laughs> Avoid being too wide as much as possible. All that good Darlington stuff. Uh, one thing I'm a little bit concerned about is how the thing will get, how the tires will wear. I imagine, obviously, it's gonna get tighter. Well, maybe not, obviously. Maybe it'll get looser. I don't know. But I'm assuming it'll get tighter, and I just hope I can adjust properly and keep it out of the wall. We'll see. Down fourth now. At least there's no guys that are like crazy way ahead. Like even the guy that's 29-7, if I hadn't hit my best, I would have had a 29-7. But uh, I was a little bit off for whatever reason. So it's not like uh, you got some guys with like their crazy setups <laughs> going a whole second faster, which will happen sometimes. Just got my uh, free SOR. OSOR. OSR. Why did I add an extra O? Oh. Just got my uh, OSR set up in here. And uh, seems to be doing an okay job. We'll see how it is on the long run. Haven't experienced that yet, but 
I'm sure it'll be just fine. It'll keep me competitive, at the very least. It did at least during uh, qualifying, so. Oh, he's got one left to green. What? Line up on the outside. <laughs> pit road is closed right now. Mission last lap. We don't have that data. Crew chief ready to tell me when to pit and such. Hopefully, I have some green flag pit stops. Had the opportunity to do that in the last truck race I mentioned before. Practiced the green flag pit stops. A little bit for this one as well. I'll likely be slow for the first couple of laps, so if anyone around me wants to on through, just let me know and come on through. All right, I'm excited. Love this car, love this track. Um, though this track can be frustrating when dealing with other people at times, because not very much room here. But if we were able to get some space and hopefully have some guys that are willing to uh, Give space uh, to each other. Spread the love. <laughs> you know, back out when it's necessary and not try to dive it through and all that stuff. My, uh, my method is, you know, if a guy gets a nose on me before the corner, I'll back out for him if he's on his way forward. But uh, if you dive it in on me, I'll fight back. Unless you caught me from a million miles away or something. But it's all situational. But I'm not going to give it to people that just dive it in like crazy. Like this number four. <laughs> he was in the last race. And uh, we're on the final run after doing green flag pit stops. And he catches me. And he's faster, but not absurdly faster. And uh, he caught me and ended up behind me. And I was running my line. And he never did get the nose on me, but he did dive in to the inside on me a couple times into turn three. And I just fought him off. Because, like I said, you get the, get the nose on me, I'll let you go. But dive it in on me, it's not happening. What's up, Mark? And then, uh... Second gear start, right? Yeah, second gear start. Uh... And then, uh, a guy that had even better tires comes flying up through, passes him, and then that's the guy I told you about that passed me in the final corner using the slide job. And, uh, I tried to fight him off, but he got clear in front of me. And it was a good move. And then afterward, the floor sends me a message like, Oh, you, you, you break, you block me or whatever, I forget what he said exactly, but like, you fight me off, but you let your teammate by at the end, I'm like, what on earth are you talking about? I don't even know that guy. <laughs> green flag, green flag. And, uh, I certainly didn't want to let him by. Car inside, clear. Got too far down there, by accident. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you so little room there at the bottom there. Sorry for that. I'm going to give him more room. Kind of turned inward a little harder than I thought it was going to. I was ready to pull the high side. And, uh, he didn't back out. And I kind of pinched him way too much by accident. Just turned left too much. More than I was expecting. So hopefully he's not too mad at me about that. This should give me space there, nine. All good, man. All good. All right, so I feel kind of bad about cutting that guy off. It kind of really ruined his momentum to start this thing, but seems okay. He didn't crash or anything. I would have felt really bad if that happened. Crash people in the first corner, but um, so far so good. Just trying to keep up with this front group a little bit. Come on! Uh oh, they're crashing. I'd be on the right rear if possible.
about a second back behind us. So that's nice, got a little bit of wheel to work with. Oh. I could improve in 3 and 4 for sure. You need to reconsider. Oh. Man, that kind of drifted up the track. It did not uh, rip as much as I thought it would. Had to get off it pretty good not to get into the wall. Um, I was saying was not sure exactly how much throttle to put it in it put in it in three and four trying to be conservative with the car while uh, keeping you know somewhat respectable mid corner speed kind of getting the balance still I feel like I should probably have a, have a better understanding of this one by the time it's over. Get some of those repetitions in that I didn't get in the only 10 minutes of practice I gave myself. As I, as I normally say, normally mention, I, I try to usually get the full 30 minutes of open practice before a race and not just jump in last minute. But I did want to, I did want to join this one. I get it. I gotta do something a little bit differently. Here they come. Entering a little bit too hard. Nope. You stay back there. Jeff, what? Jeff, what's going on with your car, man? Uh oh. What's coming up? I saw smoke. Not sure what the leader was saying. The leaders have trouble with lap cars, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure how to take three and four yet. I'm still kind of just experimenting a little bit, doing things a little bit differently each time. Oh, God. Not you can see it. Outside. Outside. Give him every inch of room that he needs. I know it was pretty slow. I think I need to stay by the wall longer in 3 and 4. That felt a little bit better. Ooh, I entered a little bit hard. I think I need to back up my entries and to run a little bit as well. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Suddenly the seven's coming up on us. Maybe they've been really uh, easy on their tires oh, or something. I remember they were like a second back and now they've caught up to us. The right rear though, it feels good. Nice and loose, gotta use the wheel a little bit, I like that. Having trouble staying in front of the tire wear. I'd like to do a little bit better at. Thinking about letting the 7 go. It's pretty close, but not quite ready to do it yet. That's because I feel like I have just been missing my marks. I don't feel like I'm like got, I've got worn tires or something. I feel like he's, uh, I'm just not hitting my marks as well at the moment. So I'll think about it. 
like I said, if he gets a nose on me, he will get the express ticket on by. First train out of here. I'll let him on through. It's not like I'm slowing myself down by not just letting him by. I'm still just running my line as I normally would. He's just got to find his way past me, and that's just how it's going to have to work. And it might be frustrating for him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Get the run on me. Set it up. I believe in you. You've just done a thirty-one point six. Well, just wait for me to make a mistake, like I almost did there. Almost on the wall. It's definitely getting tighter. But not in an awful spot right now. Top four. Cut down on the, uh, I'm not out of four there. Felt kind of good. Got it turned how I needed it to out of two as well there. Okay. Still back there though. Probably growing more and more impatient. I hope he doesn't do anything too crazy <laughs> trying to pass me. I am trusting him a little bit here, not to do a horrible slide job or something. Car inside, clear. He must be so frustrated right now, but I mean, I'm just racing. <laughs> like I said, it's not hurting me to just run my line. And I don't really want to adjust my line just so he's less frustrated. It's kind of a weird thing. Like, you just gotta set up the pass, man. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm being a big jerk right now, but... He's running my line. It's not like I'm blocking him. The lap time was at 31.9. Too far. Ugh. That I feel bad about. So I got the wall. Gotta keep up with the worn tires a little bit. That lap time was 32.3. Mmm, this thing's getting tight. <sighs> Got the wall again. 
I gotta be better. The gap in front is now 9. Okay. And this is tough, though. Darlington's always super tough. No cautions, though. That's pretty cool. We'll uh, come then, about halfway then, I suppose. This thing continues going green. Hopefully, I don't mess up green flag pit stop. Very, very tough pit road to get into here. Oh, I gotta work the wheel. Fun though. <laughs> so, the six past the seven there. It's kind of my fault. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I, uh, I have no idea how to save tires at Darlington either. I mean, I guess it's just the basic. Take the corners a little softer, turn the wheel a little bit less. Thank you. Smoother. Think about throttle application and how much brakes you're using, all that good stuff, but not too good at it. So I imagine that's why we got guys catching us. Wait till I get on the back stretch, man. Wow, there you go. He's smoother on the throttle there, it brought me too close to the wall. Okay. And the story for the six. I'm gonna just keep taking my line. If you get the nose on me though, I'll let you go. I feel like that's reasonable. Exit's a weird place to try to pass me. Like that, anyway. Maybe a little bit later in the corner. Keeping it interesting, that's for sure. That lap time was 32.4. Appreciate it, Jeff. Thank you. Obviously, if I were a lap car, I would not be fighting this hard. I would be letting them go on the straightaway, like, from a mile away. It's obviously a different story if you're lap traffic. But this is for position, man. Car inside. This could have a big effect on where I finish in this race. Time was 32.4. Go, 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 go. Let's try something different here. 
cutting down the middle of the corner and a little bit later in the corner anyway, I mean. Just there. Good consistency. Thank you. Coming. Not too far away from pit stops. About ten laps away or so. That's gonna dive it in harder. It's clearly getting more and more frustrated. We had to leave him straight away. I was just saying, maybe I should have done something different. Oh, you're good, bro. Time was at 32.6. I am being an absolute pest to this race. Chaotic neutral, maybe? Lawful neutral? Lawful evil? <laughs> like, I'm not doing anything wrong. I think it's lawful evil. Because I'm completely frustrated. But I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't think. These guys just gotta set it up to where they get the run on me on exit instead. Hit the wall. Yeah, my mistake. So, I mean, a mistake, he gets it, so I'm backing off at the point. Lucky I didn't, lucky I didn't shove you in the corner. Oh my god. I'm gonna pay it right here, fell. <laughs> Cold enough, I'll just take a ball down there. Yeah, that scared me for a second. <laughs> Sorry about that, you got loose in front of me and I tried to, I was on the full brakes when I hit you. <laughs> yeah, I only gave the whole drop half the track. Okay. Like, that so I don't know if six was meaning like, lucky I didn't get into the back like because I hit the wall, or because he was frustrated with me driving my line. Like, I understand, lucky I didn't bump, he didn't bump me whenever I hit the wall. Like, that's my fault for getting the wall. But if he's upset about me, Driving my line. We're gonna pour it out of the water. Don't say. Find out how to pass. <laughs> Get the runoff. Not here to roll out the red carpet, even though it is Darlington. Really would be great if this 18 weren't here. This is gonna be bad, isn't it? That lap time was 32.7. Yeah, I'm gonna have to Hmm, really would be great if this lap car would get out of the way. Oh, he's not really that slow, so... Though he's getting to the wall sometimes, and that's not fantastic. Your last lap time was at 33.0. Alright, 
So he gets loose, but he's still going to be in the way. He backs out there. Push him to him. That, at least he did that. It's almost pit time. I'm really fighting this piece of shit, so if you can take me on a straightaway, that'd probably benefit both of us. Sorry, Colton, I didn't mean to get on you like that. That's fine. You're good, man. I'm pitting here, too, by the way. Copy, thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. No problem. Watch your speed. All right, that was a good pin entry compared to the guy in front. I liked having that to compare to. So, all right, fuel, tires, all that good stuff. Exactly halfway. Halfway in the right. Same goes to you here, Josh. That's a good way to do it. We're at the halfway point. Should be about 90. Five, Laps of fuel left. Three, two, one. Right here. Thanks. Okay, slow down time. Yep. A little bit of a tiny bit of optional. Not too crazy though. We we'll even get a little bit of it fixed here, I think. Okay, go. Adams is now leading. There's a car behind. Take care. Rejoin him. The leader's bidding now. Outside. Clear high. Okay. Pitman. Okay, Colton. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. So we pit the same time as the 6, and uh, we can visibly see, gained a little bit of time from that, that's cool. I uh, learned a little bit more about how this car drives. So, uh, hopefully we'll be able to see tires a little bit better this time, but we'll see. You're in the top ten. position. You've just done a 30 point outside. Clear outside if you want it. Horrible way to go around the corner, but I didn't have, my, have much of a choice there. Your water temperature's creeping up. All right, so second half of the race. Let's see how it goes. I was an absolute pest the first half of the race. I'll probably end up that way again if I had to guess, but I'm gonna do what I gotta do, man. I'm just gonna run my line. I said not blocking in any way. In fact, I would be more than willing to be generous. And if you get the nose on me, I'll let you go. But this guy has not pit yet. It's going to be very slow through this corner. Okay, he is making a very late decision to turn left. Curious. Lots of different ways to enter the pits here, that's for sure. 
I'm going to start using a little bit of brake in one this time. Appreciate it. I didn't know Hopefully that'll be better on the tires a little bit. And uh, taking two, well that, that wasn't a very good example, but trying to take two a little bit better as well. Third, nice. Guess by virtue of pitting before some other guys, maybe. Not sure exactly. I'm sure we'll have plenty of people coming up on us as well, though. As uh, this run goes on. Well, glad I was able to get out of your way, because that was terrible on my end. Love green flag pit stops, though. Really enjoy that. The guy behind is now 2.3 And, uh... No questions yeah, so far. Ahead. Hopefully it stays that way. I really enjoy Darlington, because even whenever there are some incidents, it's it doesn't really bring out a uh, caution, so... Uh, despite how tough this is, you do end up with some good green flag runs a lot of the time. Which you wouldn't expect, but... I think I've enjoyed every Darlington race I've done this week. Maybe I just have good luck, but... <laughs> had a fun time. And I'm feeling pretty good about this, uh, this run, too, in third. I really gained some time uh, through the pit cycle there. Like I said, we'll see how it's uh, looking near the end of the run, but very happy right now. I feel like I got on the pit road pretty good. Uh, again, judging by the guy that uh, was in front of me and how much time I, I gained on him. What are you doing? Just a bunch of time there, so I think you have. It's tough though, I get it. I totally get it. Having been a lap car before here, I get it. It's very tough to know uh, when and how to let someone by. It's not an easy task, so. It's frustrating for me, but I, I understand. I will not hold any grudges with any of the lap cars who have trouble uh, getting out of the way or anything. Now if they just intentionally don't get out of the way, I'm kind of bothered by that, but if a guy, like if I catch a guy in a weird spot and he's not able to get out of the way, I, I get it. I totally get it. Being a little bit easier this run on the tires, doing what I can. Obviously, not going to catch the top two guys. Uh, they're kind of uh, on a different level here. A little high up the track there, not too happy with that. I wanted it to turn down a little bit more. Four is catching fast all of a sudden, it didn't help that I made a mistake there.
Oh, there I go. I got the nose on me. See how easy it is? Get the nose on me. I'll make it easy on you. Try to dive on me. It's not your spot yet. Go high. Oh! Oh no! The poor four. God, the trampoline walls on the backstretch here are crazy. We had some of that in the trip race I just recently did. I'll try and give you a heads up, Jesse. Shoot. That stinks. There's no way he doesn't have a bunch of damage. Getting hit on the front end like that. That stinks. I'm good on fuel, obviously, so... Oh! Fortunately, we don't get a green run to the end. This might actually end up benefiting us. The leader is pitting now. Look out for the pit speed limit. You got loads of fuel. We actually get into the pits before a lot of people, so I don't have to worry about losing spots, probably. Pit box team, 10. Oh, Peter, you lucky dog, you. Three, two, one. Right here. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Oh, I'm glad it gave that to me. <laughs> I wasn't sure where the guy in front of me was pitting, so I was kind of like in a weird spot, but... Go, go, go! Yeah, that four has to fix damage. They want you to single file. I guess that's that four is the, the guy that was mad that thought I had a teammate <laughs> the last time. But I still didn't want to see that happen to him. That really stinks. So 86.90, um, I think that's a better rate of fall off than I was having first run, because the first run was pretty bad. I don't think I said it out loud, but it was like 30, 40 something or something like that. Maybe 30, like 50. It was not good. But uh, this might benefit us because I think I'm going to be better on the short run. Still would have rather seen this go green, but... The guy in front of us is green. I, I still don't know if I'm going to be able to beat these two guys ahead of me, though. Uh, they're pretty fast. We'll see what happens. I just stopped and got my four tires stuck. This flavor I wanted too bad. Hopefully this doesn't fall apart, because that can happen at Darlington. Got guys uh, going hard now. Uh, I have one of those cautions breed cautions situations, but hopefully not. One to go, Nick. Come on by. Line up on the inside. The end of this lap. Still got a f I'm gonna have 25 more laps to go, but gonna be less focused on tire saving at this point. Sure. Still gonna try to be somewhat nice to him, but seven eight power here. Be a little more aggressive. We get a nice launch. About to go green, stay focused. The 
Right. Always a little bit sketchy on the cold tires. Those guys are pretty good. You can tell by how confident they are heading into that final corner there by the wall. I'm not quite that confident. Probably lose a little bit of speed that for that reason. Hmm. Oh, so sorry about that. Nice and hard. This could get interesting in front of us. We might be in a good position here. Okay, almost got the wall. Number three, I mean. Looked like you got real close. Side by side. Ooh, one couldn't quite get it done. Got front row seats to the battle for the win right now. That's always fun. Out of the corner. We're okay. P3. One's got a bit of a run, but not enough, it looks like. It's gonna try again out of four. That a little bit too easy, I think. Kind of straight, uh, breaking a straight line there into three, so that way I'm slowed down before I have to do any turning. It's the idea, anyway. I don't know if that's a smart thing or if that's what I want to be doing, but it's my idea. My tires hold on enough so that I don't have to be a pest at the end again. <laughs> and I can feel myself falling off though. And that seam helps me turn a little bit. Did 
didn't get quite the angle I wanted. I ended up low on the track there. I didn't intend to be, but that's where I ended up. Got five, uh, five tenths behind us. Also, I'm half a second. But we got a gap behind that, so that's cool to see. Ended up low again there. I don't think I want to be doing that. I think I need to hang up by the wall longer. Oh, almost got the wall. Lacking turn. <clears throat> I am impressed that four has not killed his guard. I thought he was dead by the way he hit that one guy, but I wonder if maybe Netcode saved him a bit. Oh man, this thing's unsettled on the, on the straightaways now. That's fun. See if we can hold on to the top five. It's looking good for the top four right now, but... It's falling off on me. Who knows, maybe they'll wreck each other in front. Go, get some spots. Your lap time was One guy in the wall. Josh, you hit the wall? Yes, <laughs> he did. Yeah, I don't think I heard it, but yeah, I got into it a little bit. Hey, Josh, why'd you wreck that guy from first in the last trade? <laughs> that was racing. I don't care what he says, like, not a whole lot of room was given. Hmm. He was driving pretty aggressive. He started at the back. Not protect. Ooh, bad angle into the corner. And then on the restart, he just sent it into the well. I was like, oh boy. Under the wall. Didn't turn enough. I think we're okay though. Looked worse than it was, I think. The rear end got the wall first, so it made my front end come around and hit it as well. But they were both pretty light taps. Had to get the darling in stripe at some point. Well, I mean, I already did earlier, but. <laughs> it's part of the culture here, man. You don't leave with a Darlington stripe, are you even trying? <laughs> I 
So six more laps. Two seconds behind us. I think we should be able to hold on to that if I avoid any more mistakes. And unfortunately, they're not fighting up front anymore, so less chance for free spots unless he catches back up to them somehow. But I don't really want to be rooting for uh, guys to wreck each other anyway. You got five left to go. That last lap was a 32.0. The gap in front is now 1.2 seconds. It's oh, 17, we go up. Oh my god, lap part. Or just stay in the racing line and almost wreck the leaders. So we have a chicken streaker ahead. Can't wait to reach him. He's not going to back off, is he? Car inside. Clear. Oh, he did. Lucky me. Well, I uh, finished fifth in the last race I did, the truck race. You all right there, Peter? Am I going to fall back to fifth again here late in this race as the six I catches up? I that all the time. How can I hold on to fourth? That's uh, the question right now. I'm being told he's reeling me in. It'd be funny if uh, Crew Chief had an option like be secretly optimistic or whatever. Like, like in real life, do they have Crew Chiefs that'll be like, oh yeah, you're holding them off just fine. Don't worry about it. Just to give their driver pound points, even though they are catching up. <laughs> It'd be funny if that was an option. To either like tell you if someone's catching or to be like, oh no, you're doing fine. <laughs> That'd be great. It looks like we should be able to hold on here. Just gotta not hit the wall out. I think I got this fourth place. Don't look like we're getting any video game moves. <laughs> for the win. Good win, Eric. That was a hell of a race. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I try to give you as much room as I could whenever you were getting your nose in. All right, this chicken flag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Good race. Yeah, great racing, guys, and good win. A little focus at the end there. Got myself my $10 just right. Love it. I don't know where this guy's going. Below. I don't know how I got it to stick, but I like dirt tracked one and two on that last flat. Watch your speed limit. In here. Hey guys, I don't know who I uh, see if I can get this guy before he leaves. But I'm really sorry about it. I was actually trying to do the right thing and stay away from the other guy on the inside that was coming back up. Oh, the your fault on that one. Uh, I believe Martin uh, got into Tracy. Tracy is real slow. Uh, no, nothing you can really do. It's a pass. It's a pass. Isn't. Ah, oh, can't get it. <laughs> I just want to send something to him because he left before I could reply to his last message last time. <laughs> All right, all good. Yeah, I was just struggling. 
down in the, <laughs> like the center off one and two. Yeah, I just want to say something because like he was like the guy this, last uh, race that said, uh, like, oh, you let the other guy pass or whatever. And uh, I was probably pretty frustrated. So I just wanted to say, like, hey, I know I'm a bit of a pest <laughs> holding my line. But uh, I just want to let him know that it's I am good racing with him. He was respectful, even if he was frustrated with me. I don't know. I just wanted to say something. Anyway, we got ourselves a fourth. I'm pretty happy with that. I think the three and the one were much better than I was. Uh, they were able to keep that speed without falling off. I could keep up with them while the tires were fresh. I know this week when you shouldn't have seen your flight. Yeah, I, I see. Yeah, I misspelled it with that, so. <laughs> and from behind, I'll get this guy. <laughs> okay. Your understanding. Good to see you, boy, again. Just wanted to talk that out in case there was uh, any lingering anger or uh, frustration with that. <laughs> so, hopefully, I got the message across. Across, uh, even if he is uh, doesn't speak English too much. All right. Anyway, to the incidents. Let's see what happened out here. Oh, we're gonna get a lot of uh, wall hits, aren't we? Actually, this is really quiet for a change. Usually, it's too loud. Interesting. All right. So that guy hit the wall and spawn. Is this another time we did it, or is that the same one? I think it's the same one. Now, he's having trouble early on. Wasn't a caution though, because we had green flag running for a while. Oh no. Teammate. Teammate lol is said so. Oh. Not sure what he's trying to say. Maybe uh, because he doesn't speak English too much. Because I did say um whenever the guy did pass me, I was like, hey, let's pass. Um that was a good move, so maybe it sounded like I was his teammate. Is maybe what he's trying to say? I don't know, I'm not sure. But, uh... Wow, oh, man. But, uh, what, what happened there? It looked like the 19 was going in to turn one real slow, and the other guy caught him faster than he expected. This guy's a lap down at, from him at this point. Ooh, that almost looked like a little bit net code too. They, uh, quote-unquote fixed <laughs> the netcode, or, you know, did netcode improvements during a recent update, and as usual, it feels like their the netcode's a little bit worse. I feel like that might be, like, confirmation bias to, like, say, like, oh, it got worse because they tried to fix it. And then you see a netcode, and you're like, oh, see, it got worse. Whereas, like, these kind of issues would have happened before the update. But there have been a couple instances of netcode that have been pretty bad, pretty notably bad that I've seen, so maybe it's true. I was, I was curious how many incidents I got, I couldn't remember. Oh, why am I looking at myself? What'd I do? Did I hit the wall? <laughs> oh no, I clicked on my knee. Sorry, I'm uh, not focused on what I'm doing right now. 19's in a lot of trouble. Oh my god, I just took that guy out. Oh, and the 18 again is the guy that gets really messed up by him. So this guy is able to, uh... oh my god, just barely not get right reared. And then uh, the 18 has to make uh, evasive maneuvers. 
Oh my gosh. Slows it down. He's lost a lot of time to that 19 already, and it's only a lap 10 or whatever it was. Yeah, Martin had a great race. Fourth, and he, uh, I'm glad that he wasn't taken out by that guy that spun and bounced up in the, in the middle of the track. It looked like he got him pretty good, but apparently uh, the simulation was nice to him. He didn't give him too much damage. Or uh, he uh, was fast enough to overcome it. He certainly uh, caught up to us, got alongside us, and I let him out from there. He ran the spot for sure. MT and having that troubles as well. They had a couple troubles already. My fingers kind of hurt gripping the wheel. Really had to work it on exit a lot of the time when it would get loose. So my wrists are on fire a little bit. Sound on the wall a little bit. Like. I'll probably pass up some of these uh, what look like single car incidents. Oh, 15 got the whole real good, looks like. Oh, yeah, 51. Oh no. Oh no, that 11. They really struggled to get onto the pit road there. It looked like they were trying to pit. They slowed down really early too, and they still couldn't get it turned in. It's really tough, that's for sure. That might have even been a penalty. So that stinks. I'm guessing it might have been if he quit from now. I don't know why we're seeing one. Some more single car issues. Zooming along here. You don't need to see every Darlington strike. Saw plenty of them, plenty enough of them out of me. And uh, I do feel kind of bad about my performance a couple times getting into the wall, especially when the six had to really dodge me. It was probably soon, man. Yeah. Was it this corner? No, it doesn't look like it. But he did have to avoid me at one point. Assuming he was talking about lucky if he didn't get to the back of me. Or I'm lucky he didn't get in the back of me because of me hitting the wall and not because of me driving the line. Yeah, this was it. Ooh. Yeah. Don't want to be doing that if you can avoid it. So I tried, I tried to keep it up there. And obviously, I back out once he gets through. it. said, thank you, and I just said, you're lucky. But he's mad at me, so. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, eight. Ouch. The eight and the uh, best pro reminds me of the old Barton Truex or something. But he gets, uh, gets the wiggle on exit there. Uh, he just doesn't he will move his hands quick enough to get it under, under control, I guess, and then uh, his time ran out. Nine said, Now you had your chance. <laughs> Finishing you off here. So that might have been... No, that wasn't a caution. We could have had a caution, though, and I had to do green flag pit stops, but I'm glad we did do green flag pit stops, because I think I gained a lot of time. Because I want to say I was back in, what, like, sixth or something, whenever a uh, pit stop started, and I was able to overtake a couple guys through the pit cycle. And then I like, caught up to the to the guy that I ended up finishing ahead of. Yeah, number six. Do you want to take a look at the pits, the pit entry? Those are always really interesting to see because you gain and lose a whole bunch of time depending on how you pull that off. I think it's, I don't know if people realize just how much of a difference it makes. Like you think like, oh, it took me about two seconds faster, or it took me about only like two seconds to get in there. Not quicker than that guy in front of me, but two seconds, that's a lot of time on track. 
know, like the guy behind me, he finished one second behind. So if I gain two seconds on him, that's the difference between having that spot and not. So it's something worth practicing. And uh, I was able to dedicate a little bit of the little bit of time of practice I had before this race to practice it. And I, uh, I think it did pay off. A little bit of wall here. Uh, it is lap 46, so I do want to find myself and view the pit entry. So here we've got the Jesse guy, yes, who uh, pit ahead of us. And you'll just see how much time we gain on him uh, entering the pits. He kind of decides to enter like, from entry of three. And I prefer to do like this lower kind of thing. And then he was really delicate leading up to the line, and I was a little bit more aggressive. But now look how close I am. From all the way back here to here. That's a huge amount of time to gain. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I'm glad we were able to get the green flag pit stops, because I really enjoy the challenge of getting on to pit roads, even if... <laughs> I fail the challenge a lot of the time, especially when it comes to a place like Dover, which about every time I mess it up somehow. Gonna get some more wall hits. Wonder if we'll see anyone have troubles getting on pit road. Speak of the devil, perhaps. Ooh, that's a really slow entry. Man. Slowing down and getting sideways a little bit. And then he's just rolling at this point, no acceleration. He's up, he's below 45 when you get there. I think it's 45 miles per hour. I mean, even that, like, people don't realize how much time you makes a difference if you're going 45 or 40. You know what I mean? Like, that's several tenths that you're gaining or losing. If you like look at the data and stuff, it's pretty crazy. So six gets another wall there. See? It's easy to do, isn't it? You're lucky I didn't run into the back of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just being a jerk. <laughs> One's getting in the wall. He's theoretically the most talented guy here by I uh, rating he's hitting the wall. Oh no, the eight blue's engine. Probably from that damage earlier. That stinks. That'll end his race. We do get a caution at some point. Oh yeah. I knew exactly what the caution was too. <laughs> it was this. So 14 unfortunately just bounces off the wall. And then here we got our trampoline walls down here. Oh my god. I thought he hit him square on, but he dodged him, didn't he? Oh my god. What a dodge. Oh my god. <sighs> he might have been mad because he actually did have some damage. Yeah, he, it gave him damage, even though he missed it. But it, it was Prediction Code trying to figure out just how much damage to give him. Like, at first it thought, oh, you killed your car. And then it was like, well, no, you dodged him pretty good, but you got him a little bit. And so it kind of gave him just a little bit of damage. But it wasn't enough to prevent him from passing us and getting a nice finish. So that's, I'm glad, because uh, he was having a good race. And after talk to him, he seems really nice. Anyway, so after the caution, we get started here, and uh, 12 get a little squirrely as these cars will do on the straightaways. Alamal. Pinching a little bit, but guy below him gets maybe a little loose and we go himself the track. We're just racing real close there. Pretty wide, that's scary. Uh, yeah, they didn't end up going fully three wide, but because they were uh, 
They were so close to being three wide. Nine felt like he had to leave room on the bottom, I guess. And maybe 13 noticed that they weren't three wide anymore and thought the nine was going to go down. Just probably a uh, miscommunication there on what they were expecting. Also, the nine didn't really turn in very much. Probably didn't even turn anymore. I don't know. That's a tough spot. That's why you don't go three wide at Thurlington. <laughs> or even threaten it. You just gotta give people space in there. Dean's got some damage. Looks like he backed into a telephone pole. <laughs> He's got like a circular dent on the rear end. Simon's into the wall. I've done that a couple times, but who hasn't? Well, it has. That's a bad place to get it to, as the wall kind of cuts in pretty hard there. Speed past a couple of these one car incidents. The team way overdrives it trying to clear the uh, 17 before getting in the corner. Some wall. Some more wall. Some more wall, I assume. He got it pretty good and bounced off a little bit. More wall. Yeah, that thing's not turning at all anymore for that guy. He's, uh, he's got a dead right front. Over, uh, I can't check my tires anymore. Uh, I was going to see what my tires were after, after that last run. I think I looked at them already, but I didn't register it in my brain. So if I really care, I can look back at the footage. Some more one car incidents, but we are coming up near the end of this thing. I, I don't think we're going to see too much else. Oh, here's the one. Trying everything he can to catch the, the guy in front. He just gets under the wall. Is it on entry or? Nah, he's just giving it all he's got and uh, just barely went over the edge. Slowed him down pretty good. Not enough to, for him to lose the spot, but any small chance he had of catching the other guy, I think, went away at that moment. And then the number three, a great win. He had a great race. Him and the one were kind of a. Uh, the two favorites, they were going at it for a while. But uh, we were able to pull off a nice top five. Uh, lost it to the four there on the final run, but he earned it. Especially having damage and still being able to catch us. He was real fast. And uh, good stuff. I'm happy with that. Fourth place is perfectly fine with me. Had a tough track and zero X at Darlington, which is uh, not the easiest thing sometimes. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed racing it. And uh, I hope to see you again soon, wherever that may be. See you later.